Hello guys and welcome back to the FIFA 21 career mode with AC Milan guys and today we've got episode 2 of the career mode. As you guys can see on screen our shortlist has grown and a lot of these players AC Milan have signed or rumoured to sign in real life so we're going to get that sorted in today's episode. And so to start things off though in the last episode we did play our first game in the Serie A and you guys can see we're in 12th place at the moment. We ended up getting a draw in that game. The game ended 1-1. It wasn't the best but again we was getting used to the squad. But I'm hoping in today's episode, in our next Serie A game, we can get three points and start working our way up this table. And so our transfer budget then at the start of today's episode, we've currently got 51. But like I said, we can move that along there. So we've got around about 55 million to spend in the transfer budget. So again, it is going to help us with our shortlist, but we're definitely going to need some more money for extra signings in today's episode. And so just taking a quick look then at the calendar here, guys. And you can see we've got Torino coming up first in today's episode. We are away from home for that game. But I am planning in these next five days in game and planning getting a lot of transfer business done. Like I say, a lot of it does depend on the right clubs coming in to buy certain players. And when we can make that happen, we'll have to find out. And so then, guys, if you're looking forward to today's episode, please don't forget to smash the like button down below. We can hit over 200 likes, guys, once again. That'd be absolutely amazing. And also, guys, if you are new here and you want to see more of this career mode, hit the red subscribe button down below. But here we go then, let's get into some of your guys' comments from the first episode of the career mode. And don't forget guys, we're going to get your comments featured in these episodes. Be sure to leave them down below in the comments. We're into the first one, which does say, yes, that guy is Maldini's son, but loan him out and he could come back as a beast. And now that is the plan, guys, I've got to be honest, because again, 63 rated. I doubt he's going to get much game time in the first team and actually saying it as a simple fact. So yeah, I think we'll definitely get him out on loan and see which team's coming for him in today's episode. But let's get to the next comment here then, which does say, sell Donnarumma and buy. Now I'm going to try and pronounce this right now, guys. Magnon, is that right? I, I might be wrong. Mike Magnon, I might be wrong. I might be right. Anyway, let's move on. Uh, sell Donnarumma and buy Mike Magnon and some good players. And now, of course, I was a little bit worried at the, when I first recorded episode one because I didn't put us in a Champions League. I didn't transfer all the new signings to the team because I was sort of worried that, you know, if I just move us into the Champions League, what about the other teams? And then what if I transfer, you know, the new signings to the AC Milan? I feel like I have to do it for every team in the game. So I thought, if I just go in with the squad we've got, see what you guys say down below in the comments. So again, I think what we're going to do in today's episode is try and sell Donnarumma to PSG if we can. Also try and sell uh, Chananoglu to Inter Milan and see where we go from there. But let's get into the third and final comment in for today's episode, which is to say, Hey Renzi, great frame mode choice. To improve your team, I'd look at a new right winger, definitely who's young and got good potential. Have a look at Leon Bailey or the likes of Jeremy Doku. And now Leon Bailey, I'd love on the right wing. Don't get me wrong. I don't know how much he would cost. But yeah, I definitely think that right wing, we've currently got a guy there at the moment who's 21 years of age, but we could definitely get better quality. So I might just take a look at that position before this transfer window ends. And so then guys, what I've gone ahead and done is I've gone ahead and added Donnarumma and also uh, Trananoglu to the transfer list. Now again, a few of you guys was leaving comments down below saying, why don't you play the first season? Let Donnarumma's contract run out and then that way, obviously, you know, it sort of happens like it did in real life. I do agree with that, but again, I feel like you guys would be already seeing a past season, if you know what I mean. Like, I feel like it's bad enough that we're in Europa League and we're not in the Champions League like AC Milan are for the next season. So I do think if I can do one thing right, and that is, you know, try and sell Donnarumma to PSG, try and sell Trinogolu to Inter Milan, it might not happen. It might just not happen. We're going to try in today's episode anyway. And also Tamori, a few of you guys did leave comments down below as well, say that he is kit number 23. So I've gone ahead and changed him to that as well. But let's get into the season objectives then for this first season with AC Milan, guys. And into the first one, which does say age is just a number, which is score 20 goals with Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Now, obviously, there's a lot of suggestions down below for an, object uh, for an objective with Ibrahimovic. So I think this is pretty much the main one, which is score so many goals with him. So we've got 20 goals this season. Can we do it? I'm pretty certain we can. But again, it all just depends how fast he drops off in his overall the next one, we've got Theo the Hero, which is get 10 assists with Theo Hernandez. It should be doable. He gets up and down that left-hand side quite often. The next one, Milan is red. Don't lose to Inter Milan in any competition. I should add that on, actually. So don't lose Inter Milan in any competition at all. And the next one, which is new kid in town, which is get 15 clean sheets with Tamori. And again, Tamori, 80 rated, 92 pace. He'll definitely be getting a lot of first-team football in this season. And also Italian, aren't we? Which is have three Italian players in the starting 11 again i feel like that's definitely a really good objective because again being an italian team we should have italian players 
in our squad. And also the final one, which is useful youth, which is get 25 goals or assists with players 23 or under. So again, we've already seen AC Milan have a lot of young players in their side. So that shouldn't be a problem at all. So ideally then, guys, in today's episode, I want to kind of only want to play one game and want to try and get most of the transfer business done in this episode if we can and try and leave deadline day till the next episode in case we want to make any last minute signings before we do go into the season. So again, all these players are linked with um, AC Milan. Apart from Damsgaard, I've added him myself. So again, he's, he's sort of like a last signing. If we manage to sign all the players we can and that we need to, we have somebody left over, we'll go ahead and sign at Damsgaard. It might just be a January signing for us. But again, Giroud just signed for AC Milan, so he'll definitely be a priority. Also, uh, Mike Mignon, again, signed for AC Milan. Obviously, Donnarumma going to PSG, so we need to try and make that happen. And this guy is signed as well from Monaco, Balo Traore. So again, going to try and make them happen in today's episode. ZH is linked with AC Milan. Vlasic linked heavily with AC Milan. So I'm guessing with Tanaloglu leaving the team, Vlasic would become the new Cam or either ZH. They both can play on the right-hand side as well. So again, sign ZH, sign Vlasic. One of them plays at Cam, one of them plays at right wing. So we've got some work to do in today's episode. So then guys, I'm thinking in today's episode, we're going to have to go past that transfer deadline day just to try and get some deals sorted because it took us quite a while. We do actually have an offer for Hakan Chananoglu. It's from PSG actually. We could get 40 million for him. So Maldini, a loan offering coming for him. So let's go ahead and accept that. Now Chananoglu, I think we should discuss with PSG and try and get a little bit more money. So they want to sign for the Noglu then for 24.9 million euros. Now, I would like to try and push more towards 30 because he is reaching his prime right now. Fair enough, 81 overall, but 30 euros. PSG should surely be able to afford here for him. So let's go ahead. Let's submit that offer. Let's obviously see what Pochettino has to say to that because, again, 30 million added to our transfer budget would be massive. So here we go. Come on. Come on, Poch, you know, it makes sense. Come on, and okay, they're going to offer 25.2. Is the best they can offer. Is there no way I can ask? Yeah, I can ask for a little bit more. Let's try and offer for at least 27.5. 27.5, then surely you can stretch to that. I don't want PSG to leave right now. I, I will accept 25, but if I can get a little bit extra, you can't complain with that. Unless they see what Poch has to say to 27.5, and okay, can you... 1% uh, sell-on clause. Are you having a laugh? It's like they're short for money right now, and I know they're not. Um, right, let's just go ahead. Let's just accept this offer because obviously they're not going to go very much higher. They're clearly not. And we get 24.9 million plus Tron and Glue is going to leave the club. Um, it's a shame it's not to Inter Milan. But again, we get 24.9 million added to our transfer budget. So let's go ahead and let's accept. So I think our first transfer then of today's episode is going to be Olivier Giroud. We could get him from about 11.412 million. So again, not too much money out of our transfer budget. Okay then, so Thomas Tuchel has come back with this offer. So I did offer 11 million. He wants 11.8 plus a 10% salon clause. More than likely, Giroud's going to retire, but okay, let's go ahead and accept that. And let's get into the contract talks. So here is then, guys, the final contract, I think, that we are going to go ahead and submit right now. You can see his current wage, 170,000. We got him on rotation, two years, and a wage of 120k plus 620 signing on bonus. So let's go ahead. Let's just see if Giroud and his agent are going to go ahead and accept. And I'm hoping in this career mode, unlike the Chelsea one, we can use him. Because again, in the Chelsea one... We just had way too much talent on the team to get him game time. Let's have a scene. Okay, he's going to go ahead and accept. And there we go, our first signing in today's episode. But here he is then, Olivier Giroud. He actually automatically got the number nine. So I don't know if he's got the number nine in real life. You guys have to help me out down below in the comments on what kit number to give him. But again, an amazing player to have in the team. We've also then been able to offload another player as well then, guys. Kruznic. I'm going to go with Kruznic. And we sold him to Real Sociedad. We got five million added to the transfer budget. So our transfer budget... At the moment, currently 46 million. So again, we've still got a decent amount to play with. So I think then, just taking a quick look at the shortlist, our next signing is going to be, I think, Hakim Ziyech, guys. I really want to get him into the team. 85 rated, can play Cam and can play right wing. So again, Chad and if he does make the move to PSG, Ziyech fits straight into this team, guys. He really does. And of course, Vlasic as well. If you want to try and sign him, maybe in the next episode, of course, we won't be in the transfer window then, but we could still sign him. But obviously, ZH, we do have enough money to try and bring him in. So that's what I'm going to go and try and do. I've got to tell you then, guys. Thomas Tuchel loves his sell-on clauses. So he wants a 15% sell-on clause and 43.1 million for Hakim ZH. Which, again, I've been trying to get him for 42. He just will not go any lower. So let's go ahead and accept this. 
and let's have a see what a contract is going to be. So I'm just going to head then and disregarded a release clause now into the wage right now. So you can see we've got him on Crucial, which again, he pretty much is going to be a Crucial first team player. No reason why he isn't. Then a four-year contract length and then a wage of 125,000. Let's remove the appearance bonus. Let's edit the wage. Let's maybe up it to 135k. 1.1 sign-on bonus. There we go. Let's go ahead and submit. Let's see if we can get Hakim Ziyech into the team, guys, and getting him into the first game in today's episode. Signing him is massive for us. Really massive right now. Come on. Come on. You know it makes sense. Ziyech, join the team. And there we go. He's going to join in Hakim Ziyech. It's going to be our second signing in today's episode. So after that signing then, guys, this is how the team is looking at right now. With ZH right behind Ibrahimovic, guys. can play the right wing as well. Doesn't get any minus, but he gets a minus one. So stupid. But uh, yeah, let's get him into that cam position. I feel like he's going to be an amazing player for us. Also got Giroud down here on the bench, who I feel like just move him along one. There we go. That looks a whole lot better. And so then, if the deal for Tranaloglu does go through, we are going to go ahead and try and sign Nikola Vlasic in today's episode as well. And now we're just waiting for an offer for Donnarumma. Now again, I've tried to, you know, get Tranaloglu to Inter Milan, but again, I've been waiting forever, guys. And I do want to try and make it happen in this transfer window, if possible. So if an offer for Donnarumma comes from Barcelona... I might as well go ahead and accept it, and that's why that, that way we can go ahead and sign Mike Mignon. But you can see then, guys, we do desperately need to start selling some players in this squad, and so that trying to log glue deal does need to go through before we make any more movements in the transfer market. And also selling Donnarumma, even if we get 70, 80 million, sign Mike Mignon for you know what 40 million. That leaves us with a profit around about 30 million for the January transfer window. But let's go ahead then and get into our first game for today's episode, guys. Taking on Torino, and we are going to be away from home for this one. So you can see our team. I think what I might go ahead and do as well is get Tomori into the team. Because I do want to see what he's made of. Currently got a minus two, and we do need a win in this game. So you know what? I might bring him off the bench, depending on how we're doing in this game. So again, you know, I do need to try and get the training sorted out. Well, yeah, let's get into this one now. Torino, away from home. Let's see how ZH does on his debut. Kessie in the midfield. Here we go, ZH making the ball move. Rebic out wide. Kessie, let's pull that one back. Oh, just unable to pull it back. Verdi there, being able to cancel that out. But, uh, yeah, definitely want to get a win in this one. We can't really afford to drop any more points. Well, it's only the second game of the season, but we definitely want to start picking up these wins early on and not chasing them later on. Here we go, Ibra. ZH got the pace, plays it out wide. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, no. I wanted that pass back to ZH. There we go. ZH. Maybe plays that one forward for Ibra. Ibra, has he got the pace to get there? And he just hasn't in the end. And Colo able to get the pass back to the goalkeeper. But, uh, but yeah, ZH. Um, okay, here we go. Bentico. ZH. Uh, Rebic, sorry. Ibra. Come on. Bentico. Finish that one. And it's an easy save for the goalkeeper. Out wide. Here we go. Ibra. We need you in the box right now. Ibra. No, don't lose it. Okay, Ibra is now in the box, but uh, we're not in the place. There we go. ZH to touch the finish, maybe. Bentico back. ZH maybe out wide. Find Rebic. Rebic right now. Going to try the shot on, and it's blocked by the Santos. Oh, here we go. Ibra with a header, and it's in. There you go, guys. 25 minutes in. Ibrahimovic scores his first goal for the club. Actually, it might not be. It might be, you know, he scored in the preseason tournament. It's his first goal in the Serie A this season and what a goal that is guys and I just knew as soon as we had the corner I knew a Sin Ibra in the middle and I knew it was going towards him I thought that's definitely in that's definitely in and look at that guys straight past the goalkeeper no saving that and there we go his first goal in the Serie A hopefully a lot more to come oh here we go Torino oh Roman goalie there we go that is great let's get that forward now Ibra out wide Let's try and get it back in towards Ibra once again. That is a great ball. That is a great ball. Ibrahimovic to make it two. And it's two in this game. Ibra is unreal, guys. I think that 20 goals is getting that no problem this season. Same celebration. Okay, similar celebration. But two goals in this game already in the first half. He's unreal. Absolutely unreal. I don't think the pace letting him down whatsoever. Look at that. He's keeping up with everyone. No problem. Ball in behind. And then Ibra, one-on-one -on -one with a goalkeeper. I think he's got 98 finishing. So... He's finishing that all day, guys. Rebic inside. Ziyech, here we go. Kessie, through. Ibra to make it free. And he's 3-0. He's 3-0 in this game, guys. In the first half against Torino. And wow, Ibra Mivic, first half hat trick. I can't believe it. I cannot believe it right now. Is Ibra Mivic the best striker in the game? I've not used him as of yet in this FIFA. And he might... You know, we've had some favourites over this FIFA. You know, we've had the likes of Haaland and that Chelsea career mode. He was unreal. But look at that there. Kessie, to be fair, if it wasn't for Kessie with a through ball there, it was a tight one. 
But he gets it to him, and then Ibrahimovic, first touch there, first touch finish, unreal. And it's now 3-0. So now that we're into the second half then, I think it is safe to say we can make some changes in this game. So let's get Tamori on, because I do want to see what he's made of. I also want to try and get Tenali on. Now, I do apologise, guys. I've been calling um, Benassa Bentacor, and I don't know why. I think because they look quite similar at the time. Well, yeah, Benassa. Do not know why I've been calling him Bentacor. But let's get Tenali and Tamori on. I know they both got a minus two, but we are freeing it up in this game, so it shouldn't cause us any problems. No, that's a poor pass. That's a poor pass. Clear that one. Oh, that's great. That's great work from our right back. Dos Santos, though, still on the ball. Zaza, who in previous FIFAs has caused me a lot of problems. But there we go. We're able to recover at the back. Okay, we're on the counter. Benassa plays it to Ziyech. Could Ziyech score on his debut? Ziyech, onto your right foot. No! No, what have I done? What have I done, guys? Why have I allowed that to happen? Ibra. Okay, Tonali trying to get forward. Taken out straight away as he's come onto the pitch here. But we might be able to win it back. Go on, keep that, keep that. Here we go. Ibra, come on, let's get some runners. There we go, Rebic. Okay, through. Ziyech. Oh, Izzo once again. That's great defending. Okay, let's not lose the clean sheet. Let's not lose the clean sheet. Come on. Okay, where do we go? Where do we go from here? Let's just run away. There we go. Able to get it out. Tonali, let's just play out from the back right now. You can see there's four minutes to go. Um, let's see if we can get... Okay, here we go. Liao's come on out as well. Okay, out wide. Out wide once again. Come on. Little crossover. Kese on the volley. Oh, it just goes wide. He's offside as well. But there we go, guys. The full-time whistle goes in the first game in today's episode against Torino. 3-0 win away from home. Ibrahimovic get himself a hat-trick in the first half. Absolutely unbelievable. And here you guys can see then what that win over Torino means. We now move up into seventh place on four points. So there's only three teams so far that have won their opening two games. Lazio, Juventus and Inter Milan. So now of course then guys as well. When I started this career mode off, I thought, should I put us into the Champions League? But then I thought, well, I've not got all the new transfers added. So I didn't really feel like doing it. But as you guys know, obviously Milan were in the Europa League. And now I'm going to show you guys our group. So we've got Celtic, Sparta, Prara. We've also got us and Lille as well. So it's a pretty decent group here. Again, Lille, I think we'll definitely play the two legs against them, maybe. Celtic might play a game against them. So I'm happy with that. It's quite a decent group. And there we go then, guys. Chananoglu has been sold to PSG for 24.9 million. We get 20 million added to our transfer budget. So I do think... With that money, we might be able to be able to sign Vlasic now. So again, it's going to be close. 22.7. 100k in the wage. How much is Vlasic worth? And okay, the team will not sell him at all. Plus, he's valued at 46 million euros, guys. So... That might not be possible. So Daniel Maldini then has been loaned out, guys. You can see they've moved out on a one-year loan deal. Kese, uh, an offer's come in from Bayern. We're not going to sell him whatsoever. But 53.7 million... Could get a possible 92.4 million, but yeah, we're not going to sell him. So I think then, guys, I do want to try and make one more signing in today's episode. Donnarumma leaving the club looking highly unlikely. So I think what we're, we're going to have to do is just try and sell him between now and then January. And then when he leaves in January, get uh, Mike Mignon into the club. So it's looking like that's not going to happen in this window. Vlasic, we can't afford him. Again, 46 million plus. Moscow won't sell him. And then Balo Traore, I'm not in a rush for another left back, so I think... To finish off today's episode, Mikel Damsgaard. Again, I do want to try and get him into the team. I think he'd be a good addition to the team. Young, 75 overall. And again, he isn't linked with AC Milan. Just the player that I would like to bring to the club. Okay, straight away then, Claudio Ranieri literally um, accepted that. I went in with 14 million and he went ahead and accepted that. Let's get straight into the contract talks here then. So I'm sure he's valued at like 36 million. Or that is that was his, his uh, release clause. But uh, we're going for 14 million, guys. So again... 14 million, 75 overall, 20 years of age, sporadic squad role, even better, even better, this is getting even better guys, a 4 year contract length, that's better as well, uh, let's move on, no release clause, surely, okay, he wants a release clause in his contract, that is the downfall, um, let's just go ahead and accept that, and again later on we can always go ahead and offer him a new contract, Worst comes to worst. And there we go. His wage isn't a lot either. We're going to go ahead, remove that bonus, edit the wage. Let's just up that to... Um, shall we up it to 50k? Yeah, there we go. 50k. It's a lot of money compared to what he's on right now. But at least then, we don't get no added bonus on. But there we go. Let's go ahead. Let's submit this offer. Let's get Mikel Gams uh, Damsgaard into the club, guys. Another great squad player for us. And I can't wait to use him. After seeing him in the Euros, I can't wait to see him in this team and see how good he can be. And there we go, he's going to accept. That's our final transfer then 
in today's episode. And there we go, Mikel Damsgaard does come in, and he does actually get the number 10. Don't know why it's not loaded. There we go, he gets the number 10, guys. So let me know down below, should he get the number 10? Should another player get the number 10? Should we give it to Ziyech, who's actually playing as a cam at the moment? Let me know down below and let's go ahead, let's get him straight on a development plan. So in terms of a development plan then, I think, okay, he plays a left winger at the moment. Would I like him more into the middle or would I like him to stay out wide? If anything, what I think, we should train him to a left midfielder and then later on when Rebic gets a little bit older, you know, Damsgaard could be, you know, his replacement. So let's go ahead, let's get him on left midfield. It's going to take 24 weeks which isn't actually that long. I'll just quickly show you guys then as well some of the top deals. And you see that Jack Grealish making a move to Real Madrid, guys. And obviously ZH coming to us. you got Selic as well going to PSG. But I'm surprised at that. Jack Grealish to Real Madrid for 54.1 million. And now we are going to play one more game then before we do finish off in today's episode, guys. I didn't think we'd have enough time to play two games, but I didn't really get as much transfer action done as I wanted. Obviously, we have made three signings in today's episode, but... Obviously, I did want to try and sell Donnarumma and try and bring Mike Mignon into the club. Haven't been able to make that happen, so let's get one more game in in today's episode. Taking on Catron, we should be getting a win in this one. So, I've got Tenali on as well as Tamori. Let's get into it. So, I'll be intrigued then in this game if Ibra can go ahead and get another first-time hat-trick. Because if he can, then we don't have to look for another striker anytime soon. Because he is clearly in form at the age he is. But here we go. Let's see. Get a pass inside. Found him. Okay, Kese. Okay, let's just play this properly. Ziyech, try and find him. and just unable to get it to Ibra. There we go, Kese. Here we go now. Okay, Ibra. Ibra, make the run. Okay, make the run. We'll try and find you. Okay, never mind. Found Ziyech. Who can find Rebic? Rebic might just be offside and he's in. But I think he's offside, guys. I'm pretty certain he's offside in the end. We should have played that ball a lot faster. We did the ball roll with Ziyech. But at the time, I thought, you know, I didn't see Rebic making that run. And I should have played a lot, lot sooner. And, okay, it's actually closer than a four. There we go, one back. Here we go, ZH now, able to get us on a counter. Can find Rebic this time. Is he going to be on... Okay, yeah, definitely going to be on side. Get into that one. Rebic, there we go. That's great, that's great. Okay, ZH is free in the middle. ZH, oh, just unable to get it to him, guys. I've got to admit, Catron's defence right now, really in good shape. Can I say? Oh, here we go, Rebic. Now, here we go, come on. Come on, find Ibra. Man, we got to find Ibra. Maron, is that how you pronounce that guy's name? Because he's all over our players. We No one's allowed to get in behind. And if we do get in behind, it's offside. So I just can't win at the moment. Ibra, the 1 2. The 1 2 could work out. Ibra to score the first goal. And then there we go, he does. Straight into the second half. Ibrahimovic scores with the ZH assist, guys. And we make it 1 0 finally in this game. I feel like it took us forever to finally get a ball in behind for him to run onto. Obviously, it's probably not the best strategy with Ibra because of his pace, but it works out that time because I think his strength as well and his aggression allows him not to get beaten easily by defenders when he is neck and neck with them. So, yeah, there we go. Finally, the first goal. And Ibra's got four goals so far in this episode alone. There we go, Ziyech. Plays the pass up. Finds Ibra. Maybe back to Ziyech right now. He's actually making a decent run in the middle. Ziyech. There we go. Ziyech. There we go. Let's it run through. The finish maybe from Ziyech and he's there. There we go. Ziyech does score his first goal. And Ziyech actually got the number seven. I didn't even notice that. I quite like the look of that. Ziyech seven. I really do like the look of that. But there we go. 2-0 now in this game. Do we need to make any changes? Probably not. But I might make some changes just to get some fresh legs on. But again, Ziyech made a great run. Just let it run through. And there we go. First time finish. And what a goal that is. Let's not give it away. Let's not give it away. And we just... What? Wow, okay. It went wide in the end. I thought that was in. I honestly thought that was in, guys. As soon as it left his foot there, I thought it's in. How he's missed that from there and at least not get it on target. I'm so surprised. So, yeah, Ibra might be able to... Oh, just unable to get it out wide. I've also got Damsgaard on as well now for Rebic. Just because we're 2-0 up. Let's give Damsgaard his debut. And, okay, let's see if we can get anything going here. Okay, Ibra. Go on, Damsgaard. Is he onside? And I don't know. Yeah, he's offside. That's so unfortunate. And, okay, not a bad effort, but offside in the end. Let's not give away the clean sheet then. Late on in this game. Okay, out wide. Oh, out wide. Come on, come on. Okay, Tamori was almost beaten there. And there we go. Calabria. Let's just get it away and get a three points in this game. And there we go. The three points. And the clean sheet to finish things off in today's episode. So that second win then in today's episode now does move us up into fourth place, guys, on seven points. You can see their Inter and Juventus still unbeaten this season. And, of course, they're the teams to beat if we can and try and get ourselves into that top two because it's second place. 
is actually where AC Milan did finish last season. So then guys, don't forget to join us in the next episode where we are going to have our first Europa League game, but I'm pretty certain we can simulate this one, but there's two games here we're definitely not simulating. We've got Roma and Napoli in the next episode. But there we go then guys, that's going to be it for today's episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed the second episode of this career mode. Again, we tried to, you know, sort of copy AC Milan's signings in real life, and obviously we did throw in another signing in there in Damsgaard. So again, I feel like we made some good moves in today's episode. Only one thing left to do is sell Donnarumma and bring the other goalkeeper in, Mike Mignon, at some point in these next, next couple of episodes. So if you guys have enjoyed it, please leave a like down below on the video. Hit the subscribe button if you are new. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode.